Hi there, I'm Dr. Jonathan Chuet, Beverly Hills Dental Specialist, and I make people happier one smile at a time. Hit that subscribe button and follow us on Instagram at WLA Ortho to find out how to get the smile of your dreams. In this video, we're going to share how teeth move and how orthodontic treatment works to give you a healthy, beautiful, shining smile that fills you with confidence. Make sure to stay tuned because I'm going to share an orthodontic secret for how fast teeth move and how you can know your treatment is going as planned. First, let's talk about what's actually there. Then we'll dive into how all the parts work together. So teeth are made up of a few different parts, one being the crown, which is what we see inside the mouth. And then we have roots that are down within the gums and bones, which hold the teeth in place. And in the middle of all that is something called the root canal, which is where the nerves and the blood vessels live to make the tooth a living thing. The root is made up of a softer material called dentin, which acts very much like bone. And the crowns that we see inside the mouth are covered with something called enamel, which is a hard crystalline structure that is resistant to a lot of things, including our biting force. Now that we know what a tooth is, let's talk about how the teeth go where we want them. We have teeth that are set in bone, and bone is a living thing with blood flow and the ability to change with time. Let's think of how kids grow taller and how older people tend to get shorter, which is a result of bone being added and then breaking down over time. So the teeth are set in the bone and they're attached with billions and billions of elastic fibers called periodontal ligament to the bone. These fibers are very strong, slightly stretchy, and come in at every angle to the tooth. That's apical, horizontal, oblique, and interdental. And they hold the teeth in place. The fibers stretch and bend in case of trauma or an accident to help prevent the teeth and bones from cracking. Think of when you bite into something that's hard, like ice or day old pizza. If the teeth don't have the ability to have these micro movements, these actions would make teeth break way more often. Luckily, our bodies were programmed with PDL which makes teeth last a whole lot longer. Okay, so we've got all these structures that help hold the teeth in place, but how do they move? Well, as far back as the 1700s, there was a gentleman named Pierre Fouchard who figured out that if you push on teeth, that the jaws and the teeth would change form. Fast forward 100 years to the 1800s, and we have Dr. Edward Engel, who started using something similar to what modern braces looks like, with brackets and with wires. Now, almost 200 years later, we have dialed in how teeth move exactly and I'm here to break it down for you guys. So when we apply a force to a tooth using brackets and wires or plastic and rubber bands, we apply a force to all the structures we just covered. The tooth is like a piece of metal and whatever force we put on the tooth, the force is transferred somewhere else. When the brackets and wires are placed correctly, the force gets transferred to the PDL. Depending on whether there's a push or a pull, the PDL compresses or stretches. When there's a push force, the PDL is compressed around the root and this tells the bone in that area that it needs to get out of the way. The bone, when healthy, usually goes through a breakdown process and the tooth moves into that space. Then on the other side of the tooth, the tooth now has PDL that is being stretched or pulled. This pull force tells the bone in that area, hey, come with me, and results in a bone forming process. So bone on one side breaks down, the tooth moves, PDL is pulled on the other side of the tooth which makes the bone form on the other side of the tooth. Teeth move bit by bit like this until the teeth go all the way to the new position. This process makes the bone in the area sore, kind of like a bruise. And that's why people say that braces can hurt. All right, so that's the basics, but the latest and greatest stuff has come recently. We figured out that when the force being applied is light and consistent, the teeth move better with less damage to the roots and bones and with less discomfort to our patients. Many people think we still tighten braces, but that's not really the case anymore. In the newest era of orthodontic treatment, we use super flexible wires made of something called nickel titanium. These wires can bend and flex into any position and then move slowly back towards their original form, which is exactly what we need, applying gentle, consistent forces on the teeth. So during your treatment, you get brackets glued onto your teeth. At West LA Ortho, we are all about the most personalized care possible. So we make a set of braces that fit to your teeth and your teeth only. Shout out to Light Force Brackets. But regardless, your orthodontist will change the wires we attach to the brackets every few months. These go from super thin and flexible to more thick and rigid and strong. The bigger and stiffer the wire gets, the straighter your teeth get. These wires usually lose force at about eight to 10 weeks, which is usually how often your wire will be changed. Most orthodontists keep appointments at this interval, so you're not coming into the office for no reason. As the teeth straighten, sometimes they bump into each other and need some help. As orthodontists, we use springs and other gadgets to open up spaces. Sometimes you have spaces to begin with. 
For most orthodontists, we don't start closing space until the teeth are totally straight and when you've gotten to a thick and rigid wire. And let's not forget about bite corrections and rubber bands. This is always a big question. And here's a breakdown. If your bite needs to move forward or backward, inward or outward, you'll probably need rubber bands, or how we like to call them, elastics. Sounds a little more official that way. All right, so here's what we promised. Here's how you know things are going smooth with your orthodontic treatment. Teeth move at about a quarter millimeter per week, or about a millimeter per month. And typically, the most extreme crowding we'll see in a case is about 10 to 12 millimeters. So even in the worst amount of crowding, your teeth should look nice and straight within about a year. If you had a lot of crowding and teeth were not extracted, and your teeth are not straight within one year after you started treatment, it might be a good idea to bring this up to your orthodontist. Okay then, that's it? Brackets and wires? Well, not exactly. Orthodontists can use a whole bunch of appliances and rubber band configurations to help get your bite corrected. So if you have an overbite, there's rubber bands for that. Same for underbite. Can't forget about open bites. Oh, and there's always cross bites. So how do rubber bands work? The same way as brackets, these elastics push in your teeth that push and pull on the PDL that makes the bone change. Rubber bands use the opposite arch as anchors to make bigger movements in these directions. And in growing patients, there's evidence that shows that we can make some pretty wild changes to the size and position of the bone if it's done correctly. We've got different sizes and strengths of rubber bands, but they only really work if you wear them full time. So just remember to really wear them if your orthodontist tells you to. We have appliances for a narrow jaw to help position lower jaws in a better place, headgear to help the whole upper jaw move, and surgery for adults with extreme bite issues. All of these treatment auxiliaries depend on your bite and your orthodontist will know best if these are what you need to get that dazzling smile you've been dreaming about. So let's review. You have a bunch of teeth which are made up of enamel and dentin, crown and root. And these teeth are embedded in bone that are held down by elastic fibers called PDL. When we push in these structures the right way, our body reacts in a way that moves the teeth in a controlled way. Regular checkups lets your orthodontist make sure everything is moving correctly. Here she might use other appliances to help things move where they should. And last thing I want to leave you guys with, these things take time. Most cases take at least a year, and that's only if everything works in your favor, so enjoy the ride. At West LA Orthodontics, we take time to explain every step of your treatment to you so you can feel empowered at every single visit. A lot of our patients become mini orthodontists by the time they're done with their treatment with us. Here's what to expect from your orthodontic treatment journey when you're a patient at our office. 100% personalized care and appliances that make your teeth straight faster than ever before in history. We use the most modern technology to make sure your orthodontic treatment journey has fewer appointments, less pain, and the very best results. We'll explain everything there is to know about your treatment and you will know exactly what's happening at every visit. Your treatment can be as short as under a year, but may take up to two years depending on how complex your bite issues are. All right guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel right here. And if you're ready to get the smile of your dreams, send us a DM on Instagram at WLA Ortho to get your complimentary consultation. Thanks everybody, have a great day.